this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Splatoon 2. I am still currently doing the, the single player at the moment. We have two more Zapfish for me to collect in this world, and then we can go up against one of the, the next Octo bosses, which is basically the best part in the single player and something I can't wait at all. We're using the, the hero shot today. I've not tried out this weapon, not in single player or multiplayer. I know, is it just... What's special about it? It just seems a bit slow. Something smells fishy and it's not my breath. What? That's the biggest squeegee bar I've ever seen. Oh, what is this thing? Oh, they're the things that suck up my... Well, they suck up all of the ink by the, the looks of things. Is it just gonna... It's just taking out all of the, uh, the enemies. That sucker can clean anything. So, will it... Will it hurt me? I guess I can't take it out. I guess that if it just runs into me, then it's going to hurt me. It also gets rid of all of the ink on the ground, which means, well, it means I shouldn't put my ink down in front of it because it's all going to get put away anyway. All right, then let's go and keep on pushing forward. Since the last episode, I have played uh, a whole bunch more of the, the multiplayer now, uh, so there will be more multiplayer videos coming up in the, the future. I think I've just got a lot better as well. I've just kind of unlocked a bunch more stuff. I'm feeling a lot more at home in the, the, the Splatoon world, so expect me to, to hopefully just control the game a little bit better and generally not do as bad as I have been doing in the last episode. It's not that I've been doing that bad at all, but uh, yeah, I should be hopefully uh, even better now. Not that I'm amazing or anything. Right then, let's uh, avoid this guy. Oh, there's armor on its back. Can I? I can't. I can't seem to be able to, to go. Oh, <laughs> there I am saying about how I'm doing better. Then I just go and jump straight off the, the side. I was trying to get back up on the high ground so I could jump on its back to, to get the armor. There doesn't really seem much point though when I tried to get the armor and died doing so. The armor <laughs> is supposed to stop that kind of thing for, for happening. All right, let's just kind of stay here and look, shall we? Dead end. There's no way around this. Right, so what it looks like I need to do is if I shoot the ink down now, then that way I have a, a nice quick route to, to get back up. So if I go here, I can kind of lure it towards me, go up the, the top if I can, uh, and then hopefully I'll just be able to jump on its back. Is it still... No, it's not coming after me. All right, let's let's do like a trail. So I need it to, to want to suck up the, the ink. I think that's how I kind of guide it around. There we go. Now it's dropped underneath me. Let's go and grab the, the armor. And uh, oh, it doesn't notice when I go on its back. So let's let's ink over in this direction. So it goes over here and then I can go boop and just jump off its back. That was cool. <laughs> right then, let's go and uh, keep on flying forward. Where are we, by the way? There's some water and then rocks and then some railings. It's a, a very strange abstract world that we're, we're in right now in uh, Splatoon 2. Uh, don't go falling to your doom now. Is that a dig because I did that a second ago? I think she's making fun of me, you know. <laughs> and oh look, more armor. It's always a little bit worrying when you get a bunch of armor because you know there's going to be a lot of dangerous enemies. They only give you armor when they think you're going to need it. So there's probably going to be some pretty tough foes coming up. Uh, I need to try and distract this guy with the grenade if I can. He doesn't know where I am. So let's try and throw the grenade behind him. There we go. Then he's going to turn around. And oh no, he turns straight back around again. Right. Let's go and try and get my ink up a little bit higher. And oh, he didn't turn around that time. Let's just go and blast the shield. When there's only one of you shooting you there, they're relatively easy to, to dodge. You can blast away those shields as well if you shoot shoot them enough, so it's probably about to get destroyed. This this hero shot, whatever it's called, doesn't seem to be the, the best weapon overall, to be fair. Alright, let's go and get rid of that sprinkler thing. And I need to move pretty quickly, because that thing is going to go and start fucking up all of the, the ink. So let's go and blast off straight to the, the next area. And it looks like we have some of the, the big ones again. Remember, they react to ink. So yeah, I basically need to, to guide them around with the ink. So let's get this one close to me. And I should be able to get the, the, the eggs. And oh, more armor. Let's go and grab the rest of the armor. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Up we go. Up we go. Okay, looks like by just going in, a, in squid form like that, I was able to, to avoid it. Let's just not worry about that armor too much then because um it doesn't matter too much because I have like a bunch of armor already and I'm probably gonna like die trying to get the other armor so it might actually be even safer for me to to not get that armor you know right then can I can I go down the side there I think I can kind of see yeah, I can kind of sneak whoa I just landed right on that fellow's grenade. That was the literal worst time for me to drop down. Oh no, there's, there's grenades coming in all over the place. This is a dangerous place to be. I am getting completely surrounded. Let's just go. Let's just get out of this area. I don't know, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. These walls are ink-proof. I can't climb them. Right, new strategy. Let's just go up here and let's just try and get safe for a second and then we can work out <laughs> where I need to, to, to go next. I knew they gave me this armor for a reason. It looks like I need to jump on the back of that thing in order to, to get up. I got to take out this 
sprinkler thing though, which might be easier said than done. Let's build up some ink and then just go and spray it really, really fast and see if I can take it out before it does too much damage. There we go. Oh, can I jump on? Can I jump on? Oh, I nearly jumped on, but I fell down. Let's get straight back up to the, the top here and let's just put loads of ink down here so it comes close and there we go. This time I am on and now I just need to spray all of the ink over here so it goes across and I can go and jump off. There we go. This is cool. I like these, these kind of challenges. It's getting much more difficult than it was in the, the last one. And oh, apparently there's a, a locked door up ahead. I guess we're going to need to to track down some other keys or something. And let's just go and grab those eggs first. And oh, it was not eggs. It's one of those things. How do I how do I get it though? I can't I can't get back up where I was. It's got to be some way up there. I think I'm going to come back here to get that locked door anyway. But this is annoying me because it's right. It's literally right there. If I nope, can't get it, can't get it. <laughs> there's got to be some other way I'm going to be able to get it. Uh, maybe we're going to have to bring one of those. One of those thingies over here. One, I keep forgetting their names. They keep saying the names again and again, and I forget every time. One of those ink sucker upper thingies. Maybe we're going to have to get one of those guys down here. See if I can get a grenade to take out that guy, because I can't reach it otherwise. There we go. Uh, that worked pretty well. And oh, look, here's one of the, the ink guys. How do I get up here, though? Because none of these things are going to allow, allow me to, to spray on, ink on them. And there's nowhere around on this side, either. I mean, there's got to be some way up here. There's some some more eggs down there. I think that area down there is just like a safe exchange. I'm sure I can splatter it on this one. Ah. Sometimes it's not entirely clear, like, which materials you can splat on and which ones you can't. There's some things that I sometimes feel like it looks like you shouldn't be able to. But now there's just this one little guy here. And I think I just need to be quick. I don't think there's any way to get rid of him because he's not going to go on the glass because I can't splat ink there. So let's just splatter a whole load. And when he gets to the, the side a little bit, I take that as my opportunity to go, 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 go. And there we go. I was able to, to grab the key. And ah, this is, I think, how I'm going to be able to, to get on top of that thing. If I jump off through the hoop, land and grab it, absolutely no problems whatsoever. That was awesome. And I was able to, to get the, the key. So what's, what's on the other side of the door? Oh, it's one of these big guys, isn't it? Oh, it's one of the big guys. It is one of the big guys. I'm glad I sprayed down a big trail of ink down here. Let's just go and drop down here for, for safety just for a second before <laughs> I work out what I need to, to do next. And ah, this is how I can get back up to the, the top. I can go up in this ink here. And then I need to be very quick because this guy's coming after me. Uh, I guess I can run over. I can run over to, to here. Why do I... Oh, do I need to keep going the way I was? I just need to get past this guy, really. That's all I need to, to do. So let's uh, let's try and lure him over, over this way. Maybe we could go on, like, a full loop around the outside here. If he starts going one way, then I can kind of quickly loop around the, the other way. So there we go. Now he's going around this way. I can keep just spraying ink and then squirting forward to, to get out of the, the way. And then I can go up the, the, the valve at the end. And then it looks like we're getting close to the, the end of this level as well. This has been probably one of the, the, the best levels. Definitely one of the most challenging ones. I've definitely had to, to do a lot of thinking, but look how many of the eggs I've been able to, to gather up. I nearly have a thousand, and that's how many I need. To, to upgrade my ink tank. So being able to, to get the, the last few I need uh, now would be really great because it means I'd be able to, to upgrade my uh, my ink tank uh, before I get into the, the final level, which would probably uh, be something which is very important. So there we go. I got the guy to turn around and we can go and finish him off. And oh, look, there's a another gold key down here. What are we going to open? Oh, it's going to be one of those big guys again, isn't it? Yep, here it is. Right, I've opened it up. This is good though because he's just going to go and take out all of those guys. I can just kind of chill out at the, the top up here and he can go and destroy all of them. There are some more over at the, the top here. I'm going to have to be careful because there's not much cover here. I kind of just have to, to run straight at these guys and uh, hope that I can avoid all of their, their ink that they're splattering at me. Uh, but all the ones downstairs, I don't need to worry about them. They are all going to be dealt with by my, well, it's not really my friend, but by that thing. <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, if I can jump on it because I think I'm going to need to jump on it to get to the end anyway. So there we go. This is a lot of firepower we have now. We have this guy just taking them out anyway and then me flying around all over the place and I think I need to jump from him into to here to get up to the the other side we can take up this final guy and then I believe we have arrived at the zapfish that level was fantastic that was so much fun definitely one of the the trickier ones I've done so far but once I kind of got my head around what I was supposed to, to do I think I was able to, to do it pretty well so I think if my calculations are correct, we only have one more level to, to complete before we can go up against the, the big final boss. Yeah, we need to save one more zapfish. And it looks like the, the level is literally right over here. So do you reckon I could jump from here? 
I think that looks kind of possible. Nope, wasn't possible. <laughs> right, how are we supposed to, to get up there? We can't splat on any of these. And, ah, okay, I see. It looks like we need to go around to, to this side here. And then we need to, to go up like this. And then somehow, I'm assuming there's... Oh, how did I not see that? How am I so blind that I just didn't see that I couldn't go that way? <laughs> Completely missed that gap there. I can't even get up here. Come on. Come on, little squiddling. Let's go and make our way up. All right, let's jump over the big gaping gap, which I somehow didn't see. And can I splat on any of these surfaces? There's got to be there's got to be one of them that I can get up. Surely. This, this is where I'm trying to get to. It's definitely where I'm trying to get to, but... Oh, oh, this one. It's always these metal ones. It's always these metal ones. I always I assume that I can't splat them, uh, but I can. And so that's kind of the, the thing that messes me up. And I should be able to get up here. There's a bit of a lip at the, the top. I might uh, need to go to the, the other side, actually. I'm being really careful in case there's another little gap that I'm going to end up falling down. But there we go. This is our way up to the, the top. Let's go and splat open the, the kettle <laughs> that we used uh, to go through. And let's go and blast off to the, the next level. And let's try and work out exactly what it is I'm going to be facing on this level. Oh, it's like a theme park. Oh, it's like a fairground. I'll listen to the music as well. It's some pretty funky music. I just wanted you to have a, a chance to, to not hear my voice going over it for a little bit. We also got the the Hero Jewelies as well. And uh, if you are familiar uh, with my love of uh, the Jewelies, uh, you will know how much I love these weapons. And oh, it was teaching me that I can use the, the Jewelies while on a rail. And I kind of just did that anyway. This is cool. I, I wonder if I can do that in multiplayer as well then. I assume I must be able to. I've not seen anyone actually doing that before in the, the multiplayer. Everyone normally just kind of rides them in school form. It kind of seems to be a, a safe way to, to get around, but if you are able to, to shoot as you do it, that could end up being really, really effective. So that is going to make things way easier. And this is a ridiculous level. Look how just fast I'm going. I'm just going and splatting around everywhere. And whenever I want, I can just stop shooting. And I can go and refill all of my ink as well. So it doesn't mean like when I'm shooting on the, the rail that I suddenly run out of all of my ink. I'm able to, to kind of keep just getting it back up again. But this level is just so fast. I love it. It's just kind of like non-stop flying around all over the place. And there was some armor up there as well. And if I want to continue to keep flying around all over the place, getting this armor is probably going to be a, a pretty smart idea. So let's go down and take out this guy. Let's just keep going. Let's just kind of speed run this level. Let's see if we can do it. So I really want to, to get to the boss as well. And it's just fun just to, to blast through all of this stuff quickly. Am I supposed to jump between them? Ah, okay. I'm supposed to, to jump between them like that. I missed out on quite a few of the, the, the eggs there, but it doesn't matter too much. I have over a thousand, which was the, the big goal that I wanted to, to be able to, to get. Uh, so that is uh, complete, which means I will be able to, to have my upgrade that I wanted before we go into the, the final boss, which will hopefully make things easier because the bosses can be pretty tricky in this game. Like overall, it is actually a relatively tricky game, especially for someone like me who didn't put loads of time into to Splatoon 1. One. Just kind of the, the general mechanics aren't that obvious, but the thing I love about the, the single player is there's just so much stuff that you do in the, the single player that you just don't do in the multiplayer. There's just so many of these mechanics, so many of these, I don't know, the enemies and all of the... the oh, whoopsies, didn't shoot that one. <laughs> Got a little bit ahead of myself there with my speed run. Yeah, but there's just so much stuff that you just never need to do in the, the multiplayer. And even like this level where you're using those rails, they are kind of in the multiplayer, but I think there's like two on one of the levels or something. It's hardly the same as like whizzing around all over the place like we are on uh, on this level. Like, you know, you never really do anything like this. But I wish it was. I wish there, there was more stuff like this in the multiplayer. That would be totally awesome. I don't know how balanced or fair it would be and it would probably kind of change the, the game completely. That's why they haven't done that. But it is so much fun. It is so much fun. Marie can even see how much fun it is. So uh, yeah, we need to, to kind of keep jumping between them. Oh, I missed the hoop. I missed the, the hoop there, but that's okay. We can jump through this hoop and then go through all of these big hoops up here and make our way all the way up to the, the top uh, where we got our little bonus secret uh, zapfish. And that was the final checkpoint. We have blasted through this level. No pun intended, as I'm blasting open all of these uh, balloons as we go. But this has definitely been my favorite level. It's been short, but I bet if you watch someone really, really good at this game, or I just kind of kept practicing again and again, I bet you could get through this entire level so fast. Because you can just kind of non-stop riding them. You don't even need to, to, to worry about, like, the... Um, 
the, the enemies much, you can just kind of ignore them and just kind of fly past them all if you want. It is more fun to, to shoot them, but that, that is completely an option. And oh, oh, there's a thing. There's a thing. No, I missed the thing. I'd made it all the way up to the top, but in the last minute, I missed the, the thing. Right, let's have another go. I'm going to go for the thing. I'm not going to let the, the thing get away. And also, there was a whole load of enemies that I hadn't splattered yet either. And it's worth taking them out uh, just to get the, the salmon eggs, if nothing else. All right, let's go and jump off now. And perfect. Beautiful landing. We can go back on the rail. Oh, no, we can miss the rail. It's okay. We'll start again. I could ride this like all day, so it doesn't matter. And there's a bunch of these extra eggs down here. Look, we've got 1,100 already. I've got loads of eggs on this level as well. We are going to be set uh, to get our next upgrade. Uh, I probably will upgrade some of the grenades next. Actually, I don't really use the grenades in the single player much. We might as well uh, upgrade one of the, the weapons. The thing is, you keep using different weapons. It's kind of hard to know which one is it is it worth upgrading because... You don't use, like, the same weapons loads. You kind of keep on switching. But there we go. We got to the, the Zapfish at the, the end of the level. Uh, let's go and collect it up. And we now have enough to, to go in against the boss. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly cut ahead in the, the video. Uh, I'm going to go and do my upgrades, get to the, the boss, and we can come back in when the battle has begun. Okay, then I've gone inside of the, the, the boss kettle. And ooh, it looks like we're using the uh, the Splat Roller today. Well, the, the Hero Roller. Okay, I wonder what type of uh, of of boss we're doing then. The Octo Samurai, by the the looks of things. I wonder what sort of enemy we could battle with the the Splat Roller then. It's obviously going to be something that I got to get quite close to. Of course, it's going to start off it by stealing one of the the Zapfish. Does each Zapfish matter that much? Could I not kind of get one of the the easier Zapfish in one of the other levels? Is saving that particular Zapfish worth battling? Whatever it is, I am going to be battling now. Oh god, they're huge, and they're just holding a giant roller. Right, looks like it's Splat Roller against Splat Roller, and they're on a tiny unicycle. <laughs> Splats with honor, Octo Samurai! <laughs> Smoke this clown, Agent 4, for the honor of your family. So yeah, the Splat Roller works by if I jump and then splat, I can kind of get a, a thin line, which I can use to do some damage that way. I kind of want to just spread the, the ground a little bit first, uh, just so I have some some room to, to swim around in, so I can evade it, and whoa, it just charged after me. Was that my opportunity to attack it, do you think? I seem to be attacking it. I don't seem to be doing much against it. I can't, I can't see an obvious weak point. I think I might need to dodge it for a while until it charges, and then use that as an opportunity to, to go after it. And oh, it's going to have a big splat against me now. Let's keep splatting the, the ink in front of me so I can then go and try and swim into it. Or at least just try and cover up all of this uh, this purple. Is it purple or pink? Oh, he's revving up. He's revving up. He's revving up. And which way is he going? Oh, he's going straight after me. I don't know. He whacked me. But this is my chance to get him as well. Did I get him? Am I doing anything against him? I don't, I, don't know if I, I don't know if I'm damaging it at all yet. I haven't really worked out uh, what's the best way to, to get him. Don't stand in front of him. I can't even see where he is. Oh, he's gone all the way over there. Oh, is he, is he kind of blinded? He's actually getting quite covered in my in my ink right now. It looks like I'm not damaging him much yet, but I think I'm kind of slowing him down a little bit. Do you see that? He kind of looks like he's going a little bit slower now. I think that's because I've been gradually getting more and more ink on him, and it's been kind of slowing him down. And oh, no! I've gone back to the beginning of the fight now. I died, and now all of the, the ink that I had put on him has all gone off. He's revving up now. Let's just spread out some of this, uh, this ink so I have room to, to swim away. And this is kind of a great chance for me to get a whole load of ink on him if I can. There we go. That was a bunch splattered on him now. So let's go and refill my ink. Uh, just try and cover up all of his pink over here. Uh, it's, it seems to be like a, a constant battle. I'm very glad I upgraded my, my ink tank as well, because it's going to be turning uh, to be very, very useful in this battle. Let's go and whiz past him if we can. We need to go really, really fast. He's revving up again now. Let's go and spread out uh, a whole load of ink so I have somewhere to swim into to dodge him. Oh, no, I didn't even need to, to do that. I was able just to, to get out of the way. And here's a great opportunity to start splattering him in ink. And oh, oh he's almost covered. Oh, wait, where's he going? He's, he's, go he's going off somewhere. He's pretty much just got like one patch on his eye, which isn't covered right now. And I'm I'm going after it. There we go. I did it. Oh, what's happened? Oh, what's this thing? The tentacle. The tentacle. Whale on the tentacle. Get the tentacle. There we go. I did it. Stage one has been completed. Right. I see what I'm trying to, to do now. I'm trying to completely cover him in ink. And then, I don't know what what's happening now. He's like, oh, what, what is it? Is this like a giant unicycle now? Oh, no, that's his, his, his splat roller which has been upgraded now. 
Okay, looks like things are going to get a bit more dangerous. Luckily, all of the, the ink has gone now. I mean, sadly, it's my ink uh, as well. But all of his ink has gone uh, as well. So let's... um. I was going to say let's be a little bit more aggressive and staying closer. But maybe that's not a good idea if he's going to be using the, the spin attack. Apparently, his eyes light up just before he does the, the spin attack. So at least I'm going to get uh, some type of warning before he does it. And oh, he's doing a big jump attack. There we go. I was able to, to dodge that. Now I can get a few hits in. And oh, no, 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 no. There was no ink. There was no ink. That's why you really need to, to cover all of the, the ground just so you ever uh, have something to, to swim away in uh, before he starts getting close. So I can kind of swim around the, the outside here. Is that a spin attack? He's doing... Oh, no, he's just going crazy at me. He's just going non-stop hitting me. But now I can push in, maybe have a chance to get him and then swim away again. Quickly, quickly, quickly. This is terrifying. I don't look like this guy. What happened to the, the, the friendly toast I was battling with? Right, he's charging up again, ready to dodge. I want to get in close the, the second he finishes because this is, like, my best chance to, to get a whole load of, uh, of ink splattered on him. And there we go. He's down again, and this is my, my chance to, to wail on the tentacle and try and blow it up. So that's two stages down. They normally have about three stages to these battles, so he's going to come back with something stronger. But I'm kind of getting to the, the swing of things now, and hopefully I will be able to deal with whatever he throws at me. And I know what he's going to throw at me. Ink. It's always ink. Right, what's going to happen to his splat roller now? Is he just going to rev it up even more? Okay, it's going like super speed now. <laughs> Final checkpoint. Right, here we go. He's planning something nasty. Oh, look at him. He's just spreading it the whole way down. I'm able to dodge it by just kind of going like this. I don't need to, to swim too fast, though, actually. Here's a chance to maybe get a few splats in before I need to swim away. I kind of need to, to jump over all of the, the ink that he's splattered all over the place. And let's go and back off like this. After all of his crazy attacks, he does seem to get tired or like the, I don't know, the splat roller needs recharging or something. And that's kind of my, my opportunity to, to push in. So let's try to stay in close. And there we go. Now I can do a, a nice bit of splatting on him now before I have to, to run away again. Let's go and swim in the, the ink to, to try and get some of the ink back. I'm kind of waiting for him to, to do the, the big one. Oh, he's doing a big vertical swing now, apparently. Let's go and cover up as much ink as we can. Oh, he's going crazy. He is going crazy. Let's try and push in quite close and maybe get some splats in at the end. I need to do some jump splats to get some better range. I got one, one decent splat on him. I think I got away at the, the right time. And now he's going to go crazy for one of his huge attacks. Let's build up my ink. Oh, he's still going. He's still going. I thought he, no, I thought he was done. He was not done though. Right, let's go and push in and try and get a few more ink splats on him. And then let's get out of here because things are not looking too great for me. My screen is covered in ink. There we go. I've just about recharged now, but so is he, and he's going, I don't know what he's doing, he's just dancing now. He's not even a time, look at him, he's just wiggling his bum. He's just standing around and wiggling his bum. Oh, here comes the, the vertical swing. Right, I'm ready for it. I want to try and push in quite close if I can, and then that way when he's finished doing his crazy swings, I might be able to get the, the few final hits in that I need. Wasn't quite enough. Once again, it's basically just his eye that isn't covered in ink right now. So I think one or two more swings of the, the splat roller, and that should be enough to, to take him down. I want to play it safe, though. I don't want to go all the way back to the, the last checkpoint. That would be bad. Let's get one swing. And oh, there we go. That was it. And he's landed. Whale on the tentacle. End it. We can do it. We can take out the Octo Samurai. And I believe we have just done it. Have we? Is he done? He's got to be done. He's got to be done. He's done. There's no way he's recovering from that. How could he recover from such an inky beating that I was able to, to do? <laughs> that was a weird one. I mean, they're all weird ones, but that was an especially weird one. And we have been able to rescue the Zapfish, and he looks very uh, thankful about it. Look at him just shivering in fear. Imagine living inside of that Octo Samurai for all of that time. But there we go. That is another Octo boss complete and another world complete as well. I know we have a, a transmission coming in from Marie. Phew, that was kind of insane. Great work, Agent 4. Maybe it's just me, but the Octarian bases feel like they've been given a feminine touch. Maybe they got a new dictator. Uh, Leah, no. Huh? This radio's on the fritz. I swear I just changed the batteries in this thing. Actually, there is likely radio interference in Octo Canyon. All the junk around there is probably giving off electrostatic. See, a lot of consumer products use a frequency called CPOD band, microwave ovens, and pr uh, prime culprits. In fact, my micro... Shh, you're breaking up, Sheldon. Shh, yeah, you know, I'm going through a tunnel or an elevator or something. Shh, sorry, Sheldon, can't hear you. Shh. 
Oh, she's so mean to poor Sheldon. He's only trying to, to help in his own special way. <laughs> but yep, as I said, I do believe that is the world complete. And it's going to open up now. So we're going to be able to go to the next world. Why don't we just pull those plugs out? Why, why don't we just pull those plugs out, skip all of this, and just go straight to the last world? I guess that wouldn't be anywhere near as much fun. But anyway, as I'm sure you expected, that is going to be the, the end of this level here. In the next level, we're going to go straight into this uh, this next area. Well, let's, let's just go and have a look. Let's just go and have a little peek to, to see what it is. So apparently it's some sort of scrapyard. It's Breaker's Depot, apparently. And oh, it does look cool. A little bit broken up by the, the looks of things. So how many zapfish are we going to be going after in the, the next episode? And oh, there's like enemies and stuff just inside the, the hub area. There's some of the, the grapple areas. And it looks like there's six more zapfish for me to, to save uh, in this, uh, this next world here. So there'll be a link in the description to the next episode once it's online. As well as the playlist will be down there as well if you want to watch through all the episodes. Or if you miss some of the past episodes. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!